gentlemen, welcome to the front line. What was this we have been listening to? This was um, Snakefinger. Uh, it was some tracks that he did a long time ago. And they were remixed uh, when uh, we had a wake for him after he died. So the both of you are managers from the residence. Were you managers from Snakefinger as well that you have this material? Uh, no, not exactly. Um, he worked a lot with the residents, and we originally used to own Ralph Records, and as such, we worked with him very closely. So, we financed uh, a couple of his first records that were produced with the residents, and so we still have that material. Uh, what happened after the death of Snakefinger? You held awake. Yeah, one of the problems was that he died in Austria, and was buried in England. So that means that us, the residents, and hundreds of his other friends in San Francisco didn't really get to say goodbye or do anything at all to observe his death. And so um, Homer and I decided that we should throw a party for him, uh, have a, an, a formal wake for him. And so we had um, a rather large party with a couple of hundred people, private party, which had several people that he'd worked with perform live, including the residents. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, it was quite a bash. We, it was a tribute. Everyone got drunk. <laughs> Everybody wanted to send him off in good style, and uh, I think that's the way it went. I think there were quite a lot of people who were pretty shocked about that. I mean, you know, having a party because someone died. A little bit. Well, if you knew more, you know, Snakefinger was a big fan. Originally, originally, Homer, you wanted to call it uh, the Snakey Wake. Why didn't you? Oh, well, uh, yeah, actually, the, the event itself was called the, the Snakey Wake. And there were some people that uh, objected to that, that thought that we were making you know, fun of Snakefinger's death. And, but the thing was, he, uh, he, people that knew him knew that he had his own special way of talking. It's like he never had breakfast, he had brekkie wax. And if he was going to... He's not a cat, is he? <laughs> <laughs> if he was going to eat he, a steak, he had a steaky wake. And, you know, if, if he had named it himself, he would have named it the snakey wake. And, you know, wherever he is, I'm sure he was amused, you know, that, that it was called that, because that's just what he would have called it. So let's call it from now on, uh, yeah. snakey wake. The snakey, snakey wake. wake. Is that the reason why we heard a monkey in the last track? I, I think that was just more primal, primal things. Like, like what? Like monkeys. <laughs> 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 no, it's hard to say. I mean, it's like, I'll, I'll ask the residents when we get back to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. were, were, were there more stuffed animals used in the wake? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, during that section, the residents were dressed totally in black with big black hats with net hanging off of them all the way to the floor and they were inflating large black balloons with helium that were then attached to what a basket or something and yeah they they had like a net or a cloth that they filled the balloons yeah, with yeah and then there was a basket on the bottom of it and they had sort of taken offerings of things from people that were close to Snakefinger, like whatever somebody wanted to send off to him. And they put these in the basket, and then at the end of the whole wake, they took this out and just released it into the air. Well, it sounds pretty tribal. It almost. wasn't actually at the end of the wake, it was actually during the music. Well, at the end of the music, at the end of the music well, was, they did. Yeah, during the music, actually. <laughs> close, it was in there close. It was, it was around then. <laughs> But I mean, it sounds pretty tribal. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. Actually, the residents are from Africa. Um, You're not supposed to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. What did I do? Erase I? that. <laughs> um, the residents did another tribute to, um, to Snakefinger, um, and we're going to listen to that thing right now. Um, it was um, actually a piano part he did back in... What was it, 72, 71? I think 71, I think. 70, 71. Yeah, it was a a thing he wrote called Kantatsen to der Dian Prunen. Sorry? Kantatsen to der Dian Prunen. Thank you. 
It's a foreign language. It's not. It's not English. Yeah. At the time when uh, Snakefinger was first in San Mateo with the residents and the Mysterious Ensenada, he was performing this piece um, with the Mysterious Ensenada, and then he recorded it later. And then the residents went back around the time of the wake and added some more instruments to it to play it at the wake.
this almost sounds like modern composer stuff. I didn't know that Snakefinger had been studying for Jerry Lee Lewis. Cantata uh, Tudor Dian Prunin. Oh, I didn't know he was had been studying for that <laughs> either. But uh, it's really weird. I mean, to hear uh, a thing like that, which one part was recorded in '72 and another part in '87, um, it seems pretty tight fitting together. Um, that makes me think of the rumor that is going that, which is not really uh, something to be surprised with, that Snake Finger is, Snake Finger is not dead. Um, maybe you heard those rumors as well. Can no. you deny them? or I hadn't heard them. <laughs> well, I say it because I heard that Snake Finger will be playing in the future on new residence albums, new residence music. Well, it's certainly been suggested that the residents uh, could sample Snake Finger, you know, guitar playing that he did, and um, use it on future uh, records. And there's sort of mixed feelings about that. I um, mean, on one hand, it sort of seems like it'd be kind of a strange thing to do. On the other hand, um, when you think about it from Snake Finger's point of view, he'd probably be quite happy to be yeah. sampled and put on future records. So he might show up. You could see him uh, grinning somewhere high up in the sky there. Right. Right. Um, do you think the residents also could need a uh, Snake Fingers guitar playing to have something more like a rock feel in their music? Do you think that, that's, that they need that in the music? I don't reason? know. Do you think so? No, I don't think so. I think that the music that the residents do is pretty flexible and... Snake Finger was not, you know, always involved in it. Uh, sometimes he was, sometimes he wasn't. And when they wanted a more rock-flavored stuff, a lot of times they would use him. But then they didn't always even use him that way. Sometimes they used him more in a jazz way. You know, they, it's, it's, it's different things. They used him on Eskimo mainly for his singing. Uh, so they, they used him different ways. Right, so the residents probably will not take any samples from that Melbourne live concert. Um, what sort of musical uh, outlooks um, played a part when the res residents made the music for the CD? Well, there's certain uh, musical themes that run through the CD that come from other pieces of music that actually aren't on it. Right. Um, there's the double shot that was played earlier uh, in the program. But there's also uh, a southern, uh, southern Protestant hymn called Holy, Holy, Holy. That uh, There's a musical theme from that that runs through God in Three Persons uh, constantly. And does that have something to do with the title? or I mean, because it's a pretty strange Protestant title, God in Three Persons. Well, yeah, that God in Three Persons actually is part of the lyrics of the hymn. Uh, holy, 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 it's God in three persons, blessed trinity. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that that the residents at the moment are working on a follow-up to the double shot, which will be holy, 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 which will be the, the next thing. They're going to do a disco version of holy, disco, holy, 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 holy. A disco version. Of the, I think the Protestants would like that. 